Dear Chairperson, distinguished colleagues, I'm representing the Open Dialogue Foundation and also the Building True Change Coalition of Global Freedom Defenders. And today I want to highlight a critical issue for the future of humanitarian aid, that is the risking practices that financially exclude those um, involved in aid efforts. And these harmful practices stem from Financial Action Task Force, force recommendations that unfairly uh, label NGOs and crowdfunding as high risk, setting a damaging uh, global standard. As a result, NGOs and volunteers using crowdfunding will face higher administrative costs, a shrinking donor base due to intrusive compliance checks, and reduced funding opportunities for smaller organizations and initiatives and projects that rely on crowdfunding. And this overreaching regulation devastates civil society fundraising efforts. And in crises like natural disasters or conflicts like Ukraine, crowdfunding is often the quickest way to mobilize resources. At the Open Dialogue Foundation, we have experienced firsthand how bank accounts can be shut down without transparency, even in Western democracies, and severely hindering our ability to provide aid. For instance, since Russia full invasion in Ukraine, we, along with other NGOs, struggled to provide life-saving aid as our accounts on platforms like GoFundMe, Wise, and PayPal were uh, suspended, delaying vital supplies. Moreover, in authoritarian countries, traditional banking systems are weaponized against civil society, making it impossible to distribute humanitarian funds through conventional channels. And in these contexts, Bitcoin peer-to-peer -peer transactions have become the only viable crowdfunding tool for activists and NGOs. Yet disempowering technology is also negatively labeled as high risk without consideration of its humanitarian necessity. So in the light of this, we urge the OECD Parliamentary Assembly Ad Hoc Committee on Countering Terrorism and its member states to reconsider FAT recommendations and assess their real world uh, impact. And lastly, we stress the need to recognize Bitcoin humanitarian applications, particularly in oppressive contexts and emphasize the importance of adopting neutral language surrounding Bitcoin peer-to-peer -peer transactions and freedom tech at 